So we come down here to get the free breakfast and it turns out that they... It's coffee, juice, and bread. Yes. And each egg is a dollar. But, so free to hear, I mean... We're just absolutely spoiled in the U.S. And uh, bread and uh, a little spread with coffee is uh, a good jam, breakfast for people. We had jam and butter and yeah, it, oh, yeah, it was oh, it was good. It was very it was good. good. But uh, yeah, so but you learned you learned real quick that you got it real good. Yeah, we got it. We, we got it so good we don't even know. It. So one of the things that had woke us up uh, last night was. Uh, you know how you see on the movies uh, in other countries they're everywhere they go is beep 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 you know everybody is honking at everybody and that's exactly the situation here we had uh, it's not going on right now but we had left our window open because it was so hot uh, and sure enough early in the morning it was a honking fest going on uh, it's just like in the movies. <laughs> so we're in line again for our last trip. Uh, we're going to be going to Terrapoto from Lima. So we're getting on the plane now. It's supposed to be a small plane, about an hour trip. Oh, they can't. They're talking to the uh, taxi people because they can't be standing. All right, so we have made it to the airport here. It appears, since we're at ground level, on the tarmac right out here, it appears that we're gonna be walking onto the plane. So, not sure how big this plane is gonna be, but it's gonna be interesting, that's for sure. All right, so we're not gonna walk out on the tarmac. Actually, we're going to be taking this bus. And so, that seems a little more professional, right? I guess we're going, we're going to the Star Peru. There we go, that's it. We're up front. Okay. Don't even talk. One? <laughs> one. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're one. What's the matter, Dad? I get first and a window seat. Now. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You want a window? Yep. This All right. One. You got it yesterday. All right. Yeah, look at Billy. <laughs> <laughs> Bigger than I thought it was going to be. One hour later. To the rainforest so i don't know if y'all can see this but there is aluminum tape that you would use on your air ducts at home on the wing of the plane a little bit wet but it's green everywhere i mean it's just absolutely gorgeous out here 
I thought we were definitely gonna run out of runway because this thing has a short runway. And sure enough, as soon as we come up to a stop, it made a U-turn, that was it. Thank you, gracias. So yeah, let's do this thing. Well, how was the flight? Oh, it was marvelous. <laughs> marvelous, marvelous. Oh, I love it. It's so beautiful out here. It is. This is the only carousel baggage in the whole building at the airport. The building here is super small. four-star hotel nice. and I gotta tell you it is top-notch beautiful around here They're telling us they'll grab it we go up front okay so beautiful and that traffic with the with the rickshaws everywhere is very different that's all I can say about it. it's very different that's you that's you that's you This is one of the first restaurants we ate at. It has a overlooking view of Terrapoto's mountainside. It's about 30 feet up. Just absolutely gorgeous. Now this is a church that had a lot to do with the BBS style ministry for the children uh, in Machu Picchu, and which you'll see in a couple of days later. Here we got a chance to figure out some of the things we're going to be doing with that community. So here it is, 10.30. We were leaving the prayer meeting and we afterwards, after Billy spoke as a special guest, uh, this is with the church that uh, is doing all the missions trips is plugged into all these villages that we're about to go to so we kind of come up with a game plan there's some back and forth but I think they got it straight we're gonna try to get a little bit of sleep and we're gonna hit it first thing in the morning and you know now I realize some of the things that 
uh, some of my friends and co-workers go through that they really don't they don't know English and here I am I don't know Spanish and I really get a feel for what they go through now so it's been an interesting experience and I can't wait to see what tomorrow holds <laughs> okay so as we just seen the kids were helping load everything we got the cement mixed out front see family also there goes a pig <clears throat> Hola.